And I'm Michael from Road March Entertainment. And today we're here at a unique location. We'll be down for the bean. And the unique because we have two coffee houses. Rituals and Starbucks. We're here to discuss, you know, basically what's a little bit more unique about the book. So we have to as a coffee lover, I'm just gonna find out where can I get the perfect coffee. I just really like the food and the ambiance as well. Very classical, look at the hat. And look at the, um, I just found out it's actually cheap on coffee as well. So, you know, stick Caribbean. Stick Caribbean kind of vibes. It's good. Respect that. It's going to give me like Italian coffee or whatever, but it's just came out. So, I read that. How's it happen? Um, I'll say My brother and I were talking about today we needed more places where they could speak. Chanel and today we need more places where they could speak and be like silent and we can express yourself and feel calm and our most back is very noise and so comfortable. So we just have some moments and calmness where you can actually express yourself and think your thoughts and have proper conversations. That's why this is meant to the idea that we might get there one day. So still playing music, still loud. So a bit more chill. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the rituals are the corner of every street, every arm city. Not equal in every city. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people are convinced that um, you know it's not it's not necessarily an overnight thing, but it was very sudden things. All of a sudden, everybody turned to be obsessed with rituals. Well, I mean, the owner, which is the Sabbath family, the third from the real, come from where? So, just not the owner. I don't really think it's funny. I can't remember which one is wow. It was never a so I think it was a lot of choice. But you think it makes this kind of like how it's now? Yeah. Because it would be all occasions, so it's kind of a Yeah. And that exclusive is kind of cool. So that when it does, it's fast. It's like, yay, yeah, I'm trying to get this thing that I could have been working once a month when I went to the States. So this is the coffee that I was several ladies suggested. Of course, I need to keep my coffee with cinnamon. And it has three coffee, brown sugar, milk, and cinnamon. That's possible. I spilled it because I'm a class. So, what is it? Amazing, it's strong. She didn't mention it was strong, but it's strong. It's good, I like it. Yes. Yeah. Alright, so you know what's another thing I had really liked? You said the time was super quick. Like it took us like what, five, six minutes to get to the thing? 
what I'm cheering for. What I'm cheering for? What's around that? I love that because... No, you know, it's our time. It's all our way. Guys, the train is no time to wait. On Trini time, it's usually late. <laughs> That's the right. It does. It is strong, but it's good. If you come to rituals, you try this out. For that day, rituals, keep a book. Okay guys, I'm back outside, it's a little drizzly, but um, 
we're in the rain because they told us we're not allowed to shoot in there. Yeah. yeah. So we're out here now giving our review still because that's what we're gonna do. And um major difference between rituals and Starbucks, which was people seem much nicer. So much friendlier. Yeah, and the service actually just done earlier because I mean we had like three to four minutes before inside there and I was like 10-15 minutes. Yeah, it was, it was much longer. Yeah, and that's why they shouted our names like, Bro, Michael, Tanil. It was aggressive, but maybe they were mad at us for filming. Yeah. So, it, could, it could be that. Yeah. Um, you would not have seen, but I had a uh, caramel macchiato and had uh, some uh, type of tea. Turkey, some type of tea, sweet tea, lemonade, something. Yeah. And a turkey sandwich. Uh, so to compare the coffees, I'm going to do different things entirely. And I was a strong people coffee. I had a ritual and that was a sweet thing. That I had at Starbucks. I guess they were both good for what they were. Um, another difference though was the ambiance. Um, they took locations. Starbucks, if you want a chill place to relax and enjoy your coffee, Starbucks is not the move a lot easier, which could probably account for why it took us took them so much longer to make our stuff. They had more customers, but um, it's noisier. You know, it has it's more ah, energetic flow. Yeah. So if you you want to relax, rituals is probably the best place. If you're just looking for that uh, whole popular basic vibe, not basic, but whatever you know what I mean. So well, yeah, stop it. Sorry. But in terms of the perfect cup, I think you can get good coffee at either place. So I guess the design factor is basically what vibe you're looking for because the price is pretty safe. Um, Expensive. It's, it's <laughs> Service could potentially be the same. I just think they probably did not go so much. Starbucks. Yeah. Okay. I mean, maybe the service is the same, but we enjoy ritual service. Yeah. I don't know. So yeah, you can get a perfect cup probably anywhere. I guess you're just looking